Now, annually, through the CGI Voice of Our Clients program, CGI leaders meet with business and IT executives across industries and geographies to gather perspectives on the trends and priorities affecting their enterprises. In 2023, for corporate and transaction, transaction bank executives, product and service innovation, including business process digitization, and a focus on client-centered operating models are all among the top business and IT priorities. Francois Boulanger, uh, President and Chief Operating Officer at CGI, joins us now to share these insights and recommendations for key actions that can be taken to accelerate digital journeys. Francois, welcome back Thank to Cyboss TV. Always good to have you. Now, every year, uh, CGI leaders conduct uh, a proprietary market research with clients across industries and geographies uh, that you guys serve. Now, within the banking sector, you talked uh, with nearly 1,008 hundred executives from all over the world. What did you discover? Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, thanks to have me here. Uh, yeah, we're referring that to the um, voice of our client um, uh, program. And again, it's to sit down with executive IT and business executive across the world. And we're doing in-depth interview. And, and what we want to understand is that you know, what are the macro trend? What's the industry trend that hitting their their uh, their business and and Ultimately, we want to understand what's their priorities for, for, the, next, uh, for the next years. So in the banking side, especially in the, uh, in the corporate and transactional uh, banking side, you know, the, the pace of digitization was slower in, in the years before versus the other area of banks. And, and why? It's because, again, naturally their, their model is based on client coming to the bank. Uh, naturally, uh, COVID changed uh, a lot of that. And naturally, since then, they needed to put a lot more focus on their digitization uh, journey and doing uh, 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 you know, a lot more investment. So today, when we're, we're, we, we, we're looking at their priorities, three areas. Uh, first of all, uh, they want to innovate more, innovate in their product and their service, so increasing innovation on that side. And you know, improving their model, their operating model, where it's the client is in the center of, of everything. The, the second thing, naturally, uh, to innovate, they need to, to improve uh, their legacy uh, platforms because it's, you know, they have old platform, they need to modernize that. So that's another big priority on that side. And finally, uh, you know, uh, sustainability is a big area of focus for, for these banks, uh, naturally to reduce their own uh, carbon footprint, but also to bring new, uh, product to their customer uh, where they, they want to improve their own sustainability. So that's also an area of focus for them. Mm. You have client executives who told you they're getting value from their digital strategies. So how do they differ from those who are still in the process of building or launching their digital strategies? Yeah, good question. Uh, you know, the, the, we're naming them digital leader versus digital aspirant. And, and again, the digital leaders are naturally uh, the ones that started earlier. Uh, but also focusing a lot on, on, on the returns, on the benefit production, and not just to invest. So, you know, for sure, return on investment is an important one, but also in, in other areas like security. Do they uh, improve the security of, of, of their banks? So, so, that, so that's really where uh, they, they want to focus. The other thing also lately, uh, you know, cost is becoming more and more uh, an issue to, to these banks. So they, you know, the, the, the CEOs and the CFOs of these banks are now asking a lot more, you know, uh, return on investment. How can we improve our bottom line? Uh, and, and so that's something also that the digital leaders are doing uh, uh, better, if I can say, than the digital aspirants. Mm. So what would you say your top recommendations are that your research has managed to uncover to help bank executives accelerate their, their, dig, their digital journeys? Yeah, well, I, I would say five main uh, recommendations. First of all, to continue naturally to innovate. So uh, more investment in innovation, especially in the, you know, in the, in the real-time payment now, uh, and, and also the, re the access to real-time data. That's also an important aspect. Um, the cloud, their cloud their journey, uh, a lot of uh, investment were done in, in the last couple of years in, in cloud. 
they need to think about now how to rationalize that a bit. Perhaps you know, they, some things went to the cloud a bit too fast and they need to, to look at it and see, do we need to bring some, some, some things uh, inside the banks? Uh, security. Uh, you know, uh, we are in, a, in, a, in an area now that, uh, you know, a lot more attacks, a lot more cybersecurity attack. So they need to tighten their security, and that's a concern of every uh, chief uh, security officer in banks. Um, data management. Uh, you know, uh, banks has a lot of data, so they need to see how they can monetize on that data. Uh, but also with all these privacy rules now that uh, we have, how to protect the data of their own customer is becoming more a question uh, that governments is asking also the banks. So that's a area of focus that they need to put focus. And the last one is, is the supply chains. Uh, they, they need to improve their own supply chain for, for improving the customer journey, but uh, they can help also their own customer with their own challenge on their supply chain. So that's really the area I would, I would ask them uh, or they, they would need to focus. A good example, uh, hopefully everybody saw yesterday, we, we announced uh, you know, a partnership with uh, Scotia Bank, uh, where we, uh, they decided to implement our CGI uh, payments, our payment solution, and that will help them to modernize uh, their own uh, payment uh, uh, platform. And so that's a great example of, of, uh, of an improvement that they can do. Can you talk about how, you know, the the banking world is changing so quickly? So how is CGI uh, helping banks adapt? Well, we have an approach. Uh, we're naming it the CGI Adaptive uh, Banking Approach. And again, it's a, an approach that we're leveraging technology uh, like uh, data analytics, like, uh, you know, machine learning, uh, like AI, that is, is the new thing. Uh, so 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 that's, that again, to improve their, their customer journey. But it's not just technology, it's also the approach of implementing, right? Uh, uh, today, world, you know, you need to, to go fast in some of these uh, implementation priorities are changing very fast. So you cannot decide now to do a big implementation that will take years. You need to go fast. So an approach like uh, DevOps, like uh, agility, uh, agility delivery is helping clients to uh, gain their benefits in a way faster way than, than we had before. All right, Francois Boulanger, President and Chief Operating Officer at CGI. We appreciate you taking the time to stop by and chat with us. Thank you.